Alrighty, okay, so I made this video really late. I promised you guys that I would release this information tonight. Unfortunately, um, a really exciting development on one of our very expensive videos about Canada's Wonderland took a turn for the better. Um, and you guys are going to get a, honestly, honestly, the best video that has ever been made about Canada's Wonderland period. The amount of detail and the amount of pure imagination and creativity in this video is going to be insane. I just had to th throw that teaser in here. So again, I'm sorry I didn't get this video out like promised last night, but it is for a really good reason. And hopefully within the month, um, you should see um, this amazing project that we're working on. Again, it's just, it's honestly so amazing. It literally puts every video I've ever made to shame. Not hard to do, but it, it really does. And it's going to be amazing. And there's a whole team behind it now. It's just, it's so good. It's just, if you love Can Can uh, Canada's Wonderland history, you're going to love the video. If you love the future of Canada's Wonderland, you're going to love that video. I'm just so excited. So excited. Anyways, the good news. Let's focus on the good news. So anyone who remembers during the beginning of the pandemic, I was Mr. Negativity, Mr. Realistic. No parks are going to open, blah, blah, blah. And what happened? Every park in the United States opened up. And here we are at Canada's Wonderland, closed for um, all of last season and the beginning of this season so far. In my job field, sometimes we get information about what's going to happen with the lockdowns a little sooner than everyone else. Sometimes, uh, you know, you get to hear through the rumor mill and all that. I'm going to use the word rumor mill because, again, nothing is ever confirmed. Things can always change um, and anything can impact that. It's a domino effect. So this is never guaranteed anything, blah, blah, blah. You know the deal. But nonetheless... I wanted to share this really good news with you guys, um, and I am allowed to share it. I made sure I asked, um, and uh, it's no secret. There's nothing secret about this, but again, everything can always change. The government always says that as well. Anything can knock anything out. Anyways, I'm I'm rambling. Anyone who knows me, I do. I rant. <laughs> I rant and I ramble. When we come out of lockdown on May 20th, we're going to enter what's called a phased reopening. We all know this. We did this last year. The phased reopening back to normalcy, as long as we keep down the path we are with the vaccines, uh, will be a four to eight week period. So in the four to eight week period, um, you're going to see places. Uh, my, I didn't turn my notifications off. <laughs> <laughs> That's so embarrassing. In the four to eight week period, you're going to see things opening up and returning to normal. The only two places that are going to be excluded from this are Toronto and Peel, which will open up at a much slower rate. Um, so, for example, uh, by Canada Day, all restaurants in Ontario um, should see um, a complete return to full capacity. Whereas Toronto and Peel, uh, it'll be a little later. So they won't see the return of their patios um, and indoor dining until mid-June. Um, and it'll be a gradual opening up of capacity therefore after bringing it to more beginning of August, middle of July, uh, that you'll see that return. Again, this all comes down to ICUs um, and patients in the ICU. So if anything happens, that's obviously going to change. But we do know, and again, I'm speaking for all the other retail and restaurants. I'm not speaking for Canada's Wonderland. I don't know where Canada's Wonderland is going to fit in this, but this is really good news. There is a plan for reopening, um, and there's going to be phases similar to last summer. And the whole goal is to go to some sort of normalcy um, with the vaccines. So I do think that Wonderland is going to fit in this plan because of vaccines and how quickly they are being rolled out now. Um, as of May 10th, anyone who works in retail that is open or food or grocery stores, you'll be able to get your vaccine. And then by May 24th, they're opening it up to anyone 18 plus. Um, so I just wanted to come out and share that really good news on the reopening plan because there's just so much like kind of like stress and negativity going on right now. And we're getting back to that whole losing hope in an opening. So hopefully this video has calmed you down. I am presenting um, stuff that is not... Um, 
speculation. This is pretty concrete, but again, this concrete information can change. I just wanted to, you know, present it and help anyone who's panicking about losing this whole summer um, to the lockdown. You're not gonna lose the whole summer as long as ICUs remain low and the vaccines keep rolling out. Again, as always, um, wait for the, the government of Ontario to say and make an announcement. Wait for, um, you know, the medical people to make an announcement. Wait for Canada's Wonderland to make an announcement on their opening. Um, but as you know, La Ronde is opening May 22nd. Um, the government has given them clearance. That is confirmed. That is on Six Flags' website. Um, the government gave Six Flags La Ronde um, clearance to open, and I expect the same for Canada's Wonderland. Um, again, around Canada Day, mid-July is when I think Canada's Wonderland will open. I think um, they're just waiting for clearance to start training. Anyways, uh, I will provide you information the minute we find out about training or rides uh, cycling or the tarps coming off the rides. I will let you guys know the minute I hear any little birdies or anything or see anything. But yeah, thanks so much for supporting the channel and uh, watching our videos. And thanks again to any of our uh, Patreons who have even been supporting with a dollar a month um, and keeping the channel going. And hopefully... Uh, you guys are handling this lockdown well. Hopefully you're keeping yourself occupied. Get out, get some air, get some uh, get some exercise. I know that's something I've been doing a lot lately. <laughs> but yeah, just keep yourself calm. Don't focus on the negative. Don't stress. We're almost there. We're almost there. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.